What's up everybody? This is Dave here from the Dave HD3 with another RC Heli tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about setting your proper gear mesh on your main gear and with your pinion in your motor. Uh, the way this engages is extremely important. If you don't get it right the first time and you go to fly, what's going to happen is if you have a look at this main gear here, this is heavily stripped. You can see the flat spots, you can see where it ate into the gears on the low side and the high side it just totally ate it away it's totally flat in this area so I can't stress enough how important it is to set proper main gear uh, and motor mesh or you're going to have issues this was the second attempt with setting main gear and motor uh, pinion mesh on my 6HV with the uh, Scorpion 45 35 560 kV motor and uh, you know having a 700 motor in a 600 size heli it can work but you gotta know what you're doing I was inexperienced which I still am inexperienced in many things but uh, I'm learning and I definitely learned a valuable lesson when I stripped out two main gears trying to getting my gear mesh set correctly so what I'm going to attempt to do here is help you guys out, get your main gear mesh set perfectly the first time. There's a few key things here that are going to help you out a lot. Uh, first off, you want to go ahead and get your motor in. Don't lock tight your screws just yet. In fact, you don't even want to really tighten them down. Just get them in there so that you have some play with the motor. So that you can get the motor to move back and forth. I don't know if you can see that, but the motor is definitely sliding forward and back. You also want to make sure you have uh, correct slots. Uh, I had to cut a little bit extra slot in my 6HV. The, the screw holes were almost perfectly round. You want to have a nice slot in there. So if you notice you're not getting a movement forward and back with your motor, definitely get a little file and just make the slot slightly larger so that you have some leeway to move forward and back with your motor. That's going to be imperative when getting the teeth of your gear on the motor pinion to mesh with the teeth on your main gear. Now another important element to talk about here is before you set your mesh you gotta find the high spot on your main gear and what I've done here is I've mar I marked the high spot the very first time I found it and we'll show you how to find the high spot on your main gear. What you want to do is push the motor back as far as it will go and rotate the main gear and you'll notice when you move forward and back you'll get a clicking sound and like a distance and as you go in it gets tighter at the high spot it gets really tight in there because that's where a high spot is now as you get around it starts to loosen up again no main gear is created perfectly um, every main gear you know that I've dealt with is made of Delrin and it's not machined perfectly one side is going to be a little more oval than the other side you know it's going to be like a circle and then you're going to have like an oval area that you're going to have to deal with on this main gear the high spot was here you're not going to visually be able to see this it's going to look like a perfect circle but when it's installed in the heli and you've got the motor mounted you're going to feel a really tight area then as you come around 360 you're going to find a really loose area. It's important to distinguish that part. Find the high spot, mark it on your main gear on the top so you can see it. And then initially, when you're setting your main gear mesh, what you want to do is take your high spot, which I'll show you again. There's my high spot. I'm going to actually make sure that the high spot is dead center with the pinion inside here. So I can see the high spot in there through the top and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push that up right there nice and close to the motor and that is my high spot I'm barely getting any clicking out of that and it's marked so I know that's correct what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tension down the bolts just a little bit remember no Loctite at this part point because we're just we're trying to set the main gear mesh and you don't want these really tight you just want to finger tighten them using our little X pattern that we've talked about before go opposites 
it helps to keep the motor square. So we want to tighten her down just a little bit, like finger tight. All right, now that I've got that set and, and it's fairly tight and I can definitely distinguish the high spot, it's really loose there. We're almost opposite of our high spot. Really loose. There's the high spot right here. Getting a little tighter, getting a little bit tighter, getting even tighter, and to the actual high spot where it's actually almost no clicking. Okay, we know we're on our high spot now. What I like to do is take a piece of printer paper and you just cut a little sliver like this with scissors about uh, maybe quarter inch, maybe a little bit bigger. Big enough that you're going to be able to slide it into the slot right here in between your pinion and your main gear. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to feed this sliver of printer paper through between the pinion and the main gear. And what that's going to do is give us a safe buffer so that when it spins from the high spot to a low spot then back to the high spot, the gears won't just eat your, your main gear apart. You're actually going to have just enough movement in there, which this is like perfectly set. I don't even have to run the paper in because this is an older main gear, but I want to show you guys this because this is this is the rule of thumb of how this is how you set your main gear mesh. So you're you're going to get perfect main gear mesh by running this little piece of paper through with a fresh main gear in there and you know a new pinion and pretty much any size motor. That I'm gonna go ahead and show you the paper trick. Uh, what I have is that standoff in there that comes off of the motor. The 6HV has it. I'm sure other helis have it too. So what we're going to need is like a little piece of wire just to okay, get so in there. So I'm going to do and retrieve it. I'm going to come through the back side so you guys can see this. And we're going to set her on the high spot. Put my paper in between the main gear and the pinion. And I'm going to slightly just give it a little bit of a rotation just a little bit. Now I can see the paper there and what I want to do at this point because I don't want the paper to just wrap around the the pinion in there. I'm sure you can see this here. There's our paper about to get wrapped around the pinion. It's going to go around the pinion. We don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is just grab a little piece of wire here. Okay so I've I went ahead and snatched a piece of just a little soldering uh, wire here, like really tiny stuff. And I want to get that in between the pinion and the main gear and get the paper to come out instead of wrap around there. There we go. I think I got it that time. Yeah, it's coming out. So then I can go back to the bigger wire. This is a pain on this heli. This is like the hardest part of working on this heli. Okay, so we got our paper about ready to come out. So we're going to get behind it. Alright, we got our paper coming around. There we go. And then what you're going to do is just let the paper push through here. And kind of just pull it along so it doesn't get caught up and run around again. There we go. And if you look, you've got a nice pattern of ripples here. And that pattern of ripples is telling you basically, you know, you did it pretty much right. Because they're all evenly spaced. It's not like all bunched up and cockeyed. What you want to do is get this paper through one time and get the mass of the main gear basically around there. Uh, most importantly on the high spot because you need at least you know the thickness is paper in between your main gear and your pinion so once you get your paper through and around what you can go ahead and do is at this point I'll tighten down this bolt I'll tighten down this bolt right behind here and I'll tighten down this bolt so I work around so now it's secured Got it secured. Okay. Going around making sure that it's got that nice 
clicking all the way around. You don't want it really tight in one area and really loose in another. You want a fairly even amount of clicking all the way around the main gear, even on the high spot, which is a little bit smaller in that area, but we can live with this. This is what you want. So what you want to go ahead and do now is individually remove each screw because we tighten them down. So you pull them out one screw at a time in your X pattern and then you're going to want to tighten it down in the X pattern as well. Get a little bit of blue Loctite on this guy. I'll stab him in there. And then you want to repeat this for all of your bolts and then tighten down in the uh, X pattern. Remove them and tighten them down in that X pattern. That's the best way to do it. And uh, you should have a perfect main gear mesh and everything should be fine. Uh, if it's too tight, even with the paper, I'd recommend uh, go ahead and just sliding your motor out just a little bit more in the paper. Spin the main gear around. Make sure it's not, you know, hitting really high and then really low. Make sure that you got a fairly even clicking like this all the way around that's what you want about that much and you should have main gear success I definitely learned my lesson the first time I did the main gear on this heli and I uh, just thought I'd share with you guys how I do it and basically that's been foolproof ever since I've never had another issue with main gear meshing and I've changed the main gear in this heli a couple times so uh, I hope you guys found this helpful and enjoy we'll talk to you later peace